Thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm back in F3. We're at Silverstone. This is the IGP Fun uh, private league race for the week. Qualified 30th. There are 47 cars in the field. Qualified didn't go that well. I had a, I actually had a great lap at the very end. I was up three or three and a half tenths, I believe, and uh, one exit right at the end. So uh, unfortunately, yeah, starting 30th probably would have put me more like 20th, which which would have felt a lot better. That's for sure. You know, I've had. I've had a rough go uh, in this league the last couple weeks, so I have one goal today, that is to finish the race successfully without doing anything incredibly stupid. So, just want to get through the race and uh, finish one. I think I need that to build some confidence back up. If you guys like what I'm doing, like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. It really does help quite a bit, and I do appreciate uh, everyone that already helps and does that. So, enjoy. Green, green, green. All right. Take that. Unfortunate for some contact. This is now the zone where we're allowed to overtake actively. On the first lap, that is. Again, we're going for the uh, conservative route today. Just trying to complete a race. Got to be slowdowns for that, right? Okay. That was interesting and terrifying all at the same time. <coughs> I figured there's got to be a slowdown for going that far out there. I know there's a 1x. It'd be amazing if I could get through this race with no excess. Alright, lap one complete. Quite a few to go. Wow, gained nine positions just from a little bit of chaos. Really not trying to overtake you, just want to go forward. You can defend that hard. So much for that. Oh, I got a middle mouse. Forgot about that. Okay. <coughs> I think rattles off, hits the floor, click all sorts of different things I've noticed. So much for the no X thing. The leader's just done at one fifty two point four nine. Ah. Uh, got lots of fuel on board. It started with eleven gallons. I think that's forty one and a half liters. 
not sure. Fuel calculation said I only needed about 10 and a half gallons, so I'm like paranoid of not being able to finish the race because of gallons, so went with a little bit extra. Everything I've seen says I'm using a little over uh, 0.4 gallons per lap, so right now I'm showing even less. Oh, come on, really? I guess it doesn't matter, but still, seemed a little aggressive. Going through there, full out, lots of fuel, not great. This first sector is where I struggled so much in qualifying. Which is uh, super frustrating actually. How many people are just throwing in some absolutely insane laps? Which I guess is to be expected here. Not sure what the pole lap was, but it was cool wick. 30 something. For sure. I want to say it was mid 30s. <coughs> expect less attrition in this race, just given how big this place is. <coughs> but uh, we'll see about that. I'm kind of kind of curious. We were at Atlanta, mayhem. So many cars, so tight. A lot of blind corners. This place is technical for sure, but. <coughs> Easier to predict what's going to happen. It'll run here in the Brooklyn's. See? Jeez. On your left. Defending hard for 20th, huh? tend to agree with you.
Gotta clip that sausage curb. Yeah, I mean, we're all so equal in pace, I mean, you really have to set somebody up, or you have to make a good mistake, you know, to really make it easy to get by. Ah, oh, shoot. Making this mirrors, huh? a little bit more progress to the guys in front of us. I guess we kind of are. I feel like I can see them a little bit better. I don't know that the gap has changed though. like that is the corner right there at the end of sector one to set that up he's going to the very shallow I'm able to get a little bit better like a wider arc a little bit better run out of that corner so going to the Brooklyn's I think is the is the real opportunity but let's see it will be difficult it's not gonna make it easy I know that on it. Easier said than done. I don't know if he likes to break early in that corner or I'm just losing my sight a little bit because I'm so close to him. <coughs> kind of catches me out every time. I need to fix that.
fit in this one hard, watch. It goes down there. Then this will push me out. Fuck me. work for P20. We put him under some fire. Adam and Leonard will give him plenty to think about here and hopefully I can dash away just a touch. Gotta go back and look at that. I definitely went too deep. Unintentionally, for of course. But yeah, I went too deep there. That was hard racing. And respectful, I think. I was trying to pin him down a little bit and he started coming over, which, you know, expected, so I moved. Not too much contact there. I'm out of uh, draft, that's nice. Apex is somewhere. Yeah, that's not good. I did pass him at like kind of the perfect time, and I guess me slowing us both down unfortunately could really screwed him up because now he's getting eaten up by those two guys behind us. I'm curious what he'll think of all that once this is over. Good to know if I hit that apex correctly, I don't have to let off much. No brakes. Love it. Some decent laps. What I kind of need to do is just forget about everybody behind me. As best I can, at least. Not even halfway there. <laughs> I 
So thinking about my plans for this upcoming week, F3 is at Indy, which I don't know Indy at all. Um, it's also the Daytona 24, so I'm not sure really what I'm going to be doing content-wise this week, but uh, something tells me it's going to be light. Just, just because of the Daytona 24, we're still trying to figure out what slot we're going to run and stents and all that stuff, so... Looks like I'm going to have three stents, which are going to be about two tanks of gas for us, which is about an hour 45. I think I said I have three stents, but yeah. <coughs> so that's that's kind of my plan for this week, this upcoming week, I guess. Not sure if I'm going to stream it or not. Just honestly depends on when we're doing it. But if it starts at like 2 a.m. my time, I'm not going to stream that. I'm not going to get up for it. Um... We've got guys in Hawaii, Pacific, all these places, so they, if they're starting the race at that time, I'm just going to sleep and wake up for mine, and maybe I'll start a stream at that point or something, I don't know, but recording it's too much, because it'll just, my hard drive's not that big, <laughs> um, so yeah. We'll see how that goes. I'd like to at least do an official, but I'm almost certainly going to miss the league race next week because I'm not going to have time. It's a new track, you know, so just to even get remotely comfortable enough to race these guys, I need more than just a little bit of time. And uh, if most of my focus is going to be on Daytona 24, then I'm not going to be able to give it the proper time, so kind of give you guys some insight to what I'm thinking as far as what actually happens who knows I guess you'll know soon enough wow <coughs> not good yeah I mean he caught me half a second in the last lap really haven't even done as much of Silverstone as I wanted to going into the week. I do really enjoy this track. It's been super busy. Done a lot of Daytona stuff this week in prep. Normally I get in like, I'm good for two officials generally. Somebody else. Um, but yeah, this week I didn't even get that far. So. I intended to do the roar, but me and Peter did a kind of a Last minute, three hour race at Daytona for endurance. Did a little IMSA this week, which was super fun. That video totally bombed, <laughs> but I enjoyed, enjoyed the race. So, just been busy this week, so I didn't even get to do the two officials I wanted, or I would normally do, before this race. And I just hope I can get one official into the Indy, just to say I did it, but we'll see. Yeah, Leonard is uh, rolling. Jeez. Barely caught that. So we're about halfway through now. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I think he's faster than me. Yeah. What I'd prefer to do is uh, see if I can use this draft. So yeah, if he's got to run or makes a move, not not defending too hard here. Or at all for that, mo that matter. Curve can be super sketchy. I don't want to slow down to give him the spot because I love what I'm seeing in that 
three and a half second gap to the next guy. a nice clean move here and I can draft I won't be so mad don't Hamilton me please Lost more time than we should have. I probably should have just let off if I was going to let him do it. I let off earlier, I guess. I did let off. Should have made that more uh, obvious. Good catch. <coughs> yeah, we lost a good chunk there. About half a second to guys behind. No problem with that. Now see if we can benefit from this draft and keep our gaps. That means I gotta keep up with him though. <laughs> Easier said than done for sure. Shit, already six cents. Come on. P17. He's waiting for Jim to give me shit about getting past. some of that time back this part of the Brooklyn's feels very sketchy to me right now not trying to Jim just trying to drive behind the man use that toe 3.6 that's good Not trying to bash you, brother. Car right. Right side's clear. I think you're faster than me. I'm not really pressured here to lose a lot of time. I could tell him that. I need to get my spotter in touch with your spotter, so you understand my intentions. Part <laughs> feels pretty good, though. Jim, I swear, man, we need to talk. Like, we need some new moves. Some new lines, something. Oh, come on, really? Feels like it's a little faster to dime in that quarter and touch, but I don't know. Especially as the tires wear out a little bit. I know there's a slowdown out there and I really don't want to find it.
Really hard, trying hard to break that toe. Oh, man, I need you to pull me around the track. Leonard, my man, let's go. Take me to the promised land, brother. I really want to go back and see that overtake that I had. It was cool to get it, get it on the outside for sure. As much as I'm a little, you know, can be frustrated by the fact that somebody's defending so hard for literally P20 at the time. I mean, look, it's his right, he gets to do what he wants. This is a race after all, right? But at the end of the day, it was very respectful. Like, even when I made a mistake and went too deep, like, he still gave me room and all those things. So, I think it was good, hard racing, which is what this league's all about. I feel like I'm thinking of a video title as we speak. Ah, come on, stay on the track. Good exit right there. He's almost got that toe broken. Really would like to have it though, if you don't mind, sir. Bringing me up to some guys. Okay. Seven, eight laps to go. Something like that. Eight, I think. Getting tired, man. Uh. Okay, Chris. Stay close. Wait for to she wasn't stay. bad. track that time. <coughs> that was almost disaster. Ah, come on. Terrible, terrible corner. Also a terrible corner. I swear, sometimes in my brain I see that 50 and I think of Brooklyn's and that's, you know, where you break for that. It just screws me up. Great, I lost the draft. <laughs> Leonard, come back! I thought we were friends! Trying. Trying to get back. Manual is fast behind me. Dang it. 
One mistake. Well. Yeah. One ish mistake. There was a couple in there. Slow down over there, too. Be careful, buddy. This place has a couple uh, nasty slowdown spots. There's one of them out there, too. 100 this time. Had a boy. Look at you not screwing up completely. Feels good to be putting in some decent laps. I mean, you know, for me. Shit. Come on, brother. Get it together. I'm trying to give away this position. Come on. P16 would be absolutely phenomenal. <clears throat> Take it all day. Oh, I wonder what happened to Sam. Shit. He's behind me. That's not normal. He'll be here in no time. <laughs> He's only six seconds away. Six or 7.1. Let's see how fast he catches us up. That guy's had some bad luck recently, too, in these races. Six point two, that was a second. I can see the top, that's amazing. I'm up fourteen positions. It's a good day. I think only one of those was me. Well, I guess the start, but that doesn't really count, does it? I made one overtake, I'm up fourteen spots. That one overtake was pretty sweet. I mean, come on. You gotta give it to me there. That guy was defending really hard. Went around the outside. Had a pretty tough corner. Stayed on the track. I think. I'm really challenging that concept right now, however. Hope I'm not the only one struggling here. Manuel is only three seconds behind me now. Sam's five seconds behind. <laughs> Shit. Not good, guys. Not good. Got four to go. Damn it. Did that math in my head real quick. I almost did the 50 thing again.
great. Still 3-3. Three, three. Sam's just under 5. should probably be far more focused on the dude ahead of me, but I think I know where my race is at. And it's right here. So it's uh, just putting in some smooth laps. Finish the race. Hope we can maintain the gaps behind us. Nice to be setting some greens every time. That's uh, that feels good every time, a couple times. Hundred marker. Half a second, man. Six seconds. Still sitting in a great spot. About three to go. Two and a half to go. These races are long. Which is funny because I thought like I've done a six hour endurance race and a three hour endurance race. And now granted we were switching. But I just kind of thought to myself like this is going to feel easier today because I've been doing so much endurance stuff recently. That's not true. <coughs> not at all. feels more draining than either of those races have were to me. Of course I did have Chick-fil-A to one of those races and so maybe that was it. Unfortunately they're closed on Sundays, so no chicken for me. Alright, let's bring this thing home. Not be upset with another freebie, just saying. figure I get through there a quarter of a second faster. <laughs> Come on. Get that optimal down to the 51s at least. That's cool. Back end a little bit. Definitely thought I heard a little pause there. Wow, what an apex. Plenty of gas.
All right, boys, one more. Happened very well. Oh well, it's down the track. Don't need it. Fastest lap for Nyhop, 151.63. Man, those guys are moving. Leaders 36 seconds ahead of me. It's wild. We're in the mid uh, 51s. boys p16 not bad not bad at all this group man I'll take anything in the top 20 anything in the teens that's a great day so all right so this is pretty much where I had good opportunity either here or Brooklyn's pretty much so he covers the inside pretty much as far as you can he's trying to keep him pinched down a little bit but, uh, he came out I left him room, he left him room on the outside. Probably could argue that I overtook off the track. And then I completely screwed this up. Yeah, he gave me space. And we gave each other plenty of space here as well. Good stuff. Maybe a little too cautious on both of our parts and me hitting apexes. Uh, seemed to die pretty quickly. So we started 30th, finished 16th, had one overtake, um, a lot of incident points. I think that was pretty common. That's a, Silverstone's a tough, a tough place to get around and not get a lot of 1Xs. Uh, but yeah, I think that honestly is a phenomenal result. Probably the best I've had in IGP fun. And uh, we accomplished the goal. The primary goal was just finishing a race, getting through a race without doing anything crazy or anything stupid. So I think we accomplished that goal. We were able to keep my head on my shoulders for uh, the duration of the race and finish in a great spot. So hope you guys enjoyed that race and uh, catch you in the next.